everyone, today we're talking about gravity forms and parameters on our second tutorial in our gravity form series from Divi Framework. So let's jump on in and show you the power of parameters when using gravity forms. Okay, so I've got a form here and we can see it's got all the normal fields, nothing special there just yet. But let's say for example, I wanted to be able to email a customer for an initial consult with a reference number. So it did some sort of workflow off the back end of that through, say Zapier. Well, I can do that. So what I've done here is set the value of R. So I can put a question mark in the parameter and put an R there. You can see I've been playing around with this one. Payment one, two, three, four. And that populates the reference number straight up right there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? How did I make that happen? Well, let's go into the form. And when I look at the form and look at the reference number field, you'll see that in the advanced area, I've said allow the form to be populated dynamically. And I put the parameter field there of R. When I do that, I can send the value to the front end. And I can do this with pretty much any field inside gravity forms. So for example, on this item here, I have a quantity here and I've set the value of that to be H. So let's go back to our example. I'm emailing a list of items to a customer and let's say their initial consult is going to take two hours. I can send them payment one, two, three, four, H equals two. And there we go. It's set right there to two and the form's automatically calculated. We have this message because the page is just for testing, but you can see what I'm getting at here. So I hope that helps you around parameters with gravity forms. And that's it for this tutorial from Divi Framework. Thank you.